Hello. In this video, you are going to learn the reasons why it's better to schedule your reoccurring meetings in Microsoft Teams rather than Microsoft Calendar. Okay, let's jump into this. So, in front of you, you see the new Microsoft Outlook Calendar. Normally, you would click New Event in order to begin a new event on the calendar. Here you would add your title, invite your attendees, schedule that meeting, and choose if that meeting is going to be reoccurring, how that reoccurring meeting would occur. Daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or custom. You can also choose here if that meeting would be automatically a Teams meeting, or if you are going to add a room or location. Today I'm going to show you Another option for scheduling reoccurring meetings, open Microsoft Teams. You can see here I am using the new Microsoft Teams. Choose a team that you would like to create this reoccurring meeting in. If you already have the team created, click that. If you need the team created, please reach out to customer care and they can assist you with that. Once clicked into the team, you want to choose the channel where this reoccurring meeting will live. I am going to create the reoccurring meeting in the general channel of this NASA BOCES training team. Come up to the right hand side where you see the meet icon and then click the drop down arrow to the right. Then click schedule a meeting. The calendar event box pops open and now you can add all the important details. And I'm going to add my required attendees and you can also add your optional attendees. So this could be everyone in the channel or just two or three people in the channel that need to meet on a reoccurring basis. Again, this is based off the needs of the reoccurring meeting you're creating. Choose the date and time for the first meeting to be scheduled and underneath where it says do not repeat, here's where you're going to choose how often this meeting will occur. Here you can choose to add a location, but it will default to be a Teams meeting, being that we are in Microsoft Teams creating this event. And down below, you can add any details that you would like to have known for this reoccurring meeting. You can also attach hyperlinks here. You also have the ability to choose who's going to bypass the lobby. I would also turn on recording automatically. For anyone that may have potentially missed this meeting and needs a recap, they can now come in and see that recording automatically. And then if you click more options, you do have some other meeting options that you can set. And the other great feature is that you will get an attendance report so you automatically will know who was in attendance for that meeting. One last thing I'd like to show you, after you've added your attendees, click scheduling assistant so that you can ensure that you are scheduling this meeting during a time and day that they are available to attend. And once all of your meeting options are set, you just click send. Now, reoccurring meeting event will be posted in the channel for all to see. You could always pin that message to the top of the channel, which means it will always live at the top and it will be easy for others to find. The meeting will also live in everyone's calendar. So as you see here, if I click on calendar, I see that reoccurring meeting here. And if I go to my Outlook calendar, I also now see that reoccurring meeting in my Outlook calendar as well. Now you're wondering what are the benefits of scheduling this reoccurring meeting in Microsoft Teams versus Microsoft Calendar? Well, let me show you. If I click on the reoccurring meeting event in Microsoft Teams, I have a few options up at the top now that I would not have if I was using Microsoft Calendar. I have my attendance report here. I have a meeting whiteboard. Here is a great place to brainstorm, document, information shared. And again, it will always live in the channel for all to see and refer back to. You also have the details of the meeting. You can also chat with the participants before during and after the scheduled meeting. You also have the ability to create breakout rooms and a Q&A. And of course, 
just like any other channel, you have the option to add tabs that you can store important information that people in this reoccurring meeting will need to see at all times. You can add websites, PDFs, forms, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel documents, anything that you may need at your fingertips during these reoccurring meetings can be added as a tab to the Microsoft Team event. Again, scheduling your reoccurring meetings using Microsoft Teams instead of Microsoft Outlook Calendar gives you the added benefit of storing notes, chats, recordings, Q&As, files, a task list, attendance, and the whiteboard all in the Microsoft Team channel for easy reference and document storage. The goal here is to have one place where everything that your team needs is being stored and easily accessible. If you have any questions or need more training around this tip, please reach out to me. Now you know how to schedule your reoccurring meetings using Microsoft Teams. Stay tuned for next week's What the Turk Tip. See you then.